Hi everybody, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial on how to find your game save files. I have uploaded my game save file to my YouTube channel for folks to download my tutorial world map and I've had a few questions on how to get it onto their system so that's what this tutorial is for. So I'm assuming that you've already downloaded the file and you know where your downloads are. And this is, uh, this is for Windows 7 so you may have a different screen if you're on XP or Vista but essentially you want to go to your downloads location and here is the zip file that I uploaded and you want to find it and you want to copy it so just right click on the zip file and copy it now what we want to do is go to our Minecraft save location and it's um, it's a hidden folder so you may have to unhide but the first thing we're going to try is come down here and click on your start button and then right in here in this search bar now if you're on XP it might say run you may see a run link somewhere in here and you're just gonna put in percent sign and then type in a p p d a t a app data and another percent sign and then press your enter key and this will open up your application data file which is again it's a hidden folder so if it doesn't show up you may have to go to your folder options and again this is Windows 7 so you might see it a little bit differently you might say folder options or view go to organize folder click on the view tab and right here you'll see don't show hidden folders that's usually checked by default you want to show hidden folders and then click on OK and this is the location. So right off the C drive, it's going to be C, your name. I'm sorry, it's not going to be C, your name. It's going to be C, users, your name, app data, and roaming. But anyway, just like I said, all you have to do is type in app data, and it opens up this folder. And here it is right here. It's all the application files on my computer. And the top one here is .minecraft. Open that up. And you see this save location right here. These are all the world files. World 1, I don't have a world 2. I've got 3 and 4 and 5. Uh, World 4 is the tutorial map I've been playing on, so I don't want to overwrite it, so what, what I need to do is rename this folder. So select the folder, right click, choose Rename, and then come up here at the end, and I usually just put an underscore and a BAK for backup. Okay, now in this folder, you just want to right click underneath all the folder names it brings up your shortcut menu and just choose paste that will copy the dot zip file in you may not see the dot zip if you don't have extensions showing file extensions showing you may not see dot zip you might just see Paul source junior underscore world that's fine now I use a program called um, IZ arc to zip and unzip um, these archives. You may not have that on your computer unless you've downloaded it. It's a free download. You can go to Google and search for that. It's called IZARC. IZARC. If you don't have it, you can still do this. So let's right click on that file. And here's my IZARC. You may not see that. You might just say um, open with. And we're going to go to open with. And we're going to use Windows Explorer just in the event you don't have one of these free zip file programs click on Windows Explorer and it's going to open up that archive. The zip file is basically a compressed uh, it's a compression program and it compresses all the files inside that one container. Uh, now let me back up a little. I did that a little bit fast. So now it's opened up this zip file and it shows what's inside of it which is World 4. Now I want to copy that into my saves folder so I'm going to bring this window down into a more manageable size and then I'm just going to drag and drop click on this hold down the mouse button and just drag and drop it and copy it into my saves folder and let go and that copies the files there's a lot of files inside the world save folder and that's going to take a few minutes these are all the little data files that the developer uses for various map features. Now again, if you're on Vista or XP, your screen may look a little bit different from mine. 
but if you go again if you go down here you can't really fail come down click on your start button type in that percent sign app data percent sign and then hit enter and it will go right to that location so we're just waiting for this to unzip all the files there's quite a few and then once that's done I can just go to Minecraft, start it up, and my file should be there. By the way, I'm using um, to record this, just downloaded this today, Microsoft Expression Encoder 4 Screen Capture Program. It's a free tool, but you're limited to 10 minute recordings unless you pay for it. But it's free, it's pretty cool, so we're going to see how this works out. All right, so the unzip is just about finished. And there's my world 4 file. Open it up, and there's all the data files. Okay, we're done in there. Close that out, close that out, close that out, go back to my desktop, and open up Minecraft. And here's my world. And let's see if it's all there. And it should just start right up. Now, if you're on a Mac, things are a little bit different. I do have a Mac. I don't know if I'll do a tutorial for that, but um, there's an application data folder, and you have to do a search for that. And Mac makes it very easy. Just go up to the, uh, the Spotlight search and just do a search for .minecraft or uh, saves, and you should be able to find it. Anyway, that's the tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the map. Take care.